Oh, British Celion, which is the Maldives. So how many people actually live in Celion? Shimhala. 7% of the people actually live here are Japanese. That's crazy. Already. It's all the soldiers. There's a lot of Buddhists. Japanese Manchuria. Japanese Manchuria? Tropico went bankrupt. No. Japanese Manchuria? Is this Japanese Manchuria? Oh, okay. Germany trying to rebuild her army. Stuck in World War I glory. More and more people are becoming socialists. I think it's time to switch over to the socialist faction. Ooh, I cannot allow. Because my government does not allow it. Huh, interesting. And the war justification is almost ready. So, we'll actually, you know, declare war on India. We'll invade somehow. Let's get the Imperial Navy. That's not the Imperial Navy. <laughs> this is the Imperial Navy. Well, let's sail them, I don't know, here, maybe. There it is. Cause this belly on India. So let's do it. Let's declare war. Total annexation. On India. So let's see who joined this war with us. No one apparently. I did not call any allies. But I bet I can. They won't accept. But I bet these guys will. I bet these guys will. That won't, because I'm not allied. Tropico can't. These guys will. These guys will. And these guys will. So there we go. India is actually very weak when it comes down to it. So let's put troops over here. Or put the navy here. Off the cape. Put these guys onto the navy ships, and then uh, we'll land troops. Now let's see. Yes, proceed. Now let's see if these guys will give me military access. They won't. Wow, what a bunch of assholes. What about you? You give me military access? Nope. What in the hell? How'd that cross over? Can you just cross? I didn't know you could just like cross the strait. I wonder if you can actually do that. Hmm. Damn it, I should have invaded Burma first. Oh well. It's a slaughter. And uh, if 
Tibet's actually one region. We're getting into India somehow. Can I actually just cross? That's hilarious. I didn't know you could actually do that. Well then, let's just get a bunch of troops and we'll fucking cross the strait. Let's move this army. And put that army on the ship. We'll get a bunch of troops and sell on. And we'll storm across the strait. Into India. Into southern India. And they don't they won't know what to do. They'll just it'll be a massacre. If these guys would ally with me, I wouldn't have a problem, but everyone's gotta fucking <laughs> be difficult. Go here, we'll storm across the the strait with tanks, armor, mechanized infantry. And uh once we do, let's see if the Indian Navy's over here somewhere. Because there'll be no match for the, you know, Imperial Battle Fleet. Maybe India doesn't have a navy. It's completely possible that India doesn't have a navy. Let's go get the rest of these guys. More tanks. Let's actually get some, some regulars straight out of China. I guess they're all out of China. There it is. The Indian fleet, the first Indian fleet is one ship against the, you know, Imperial Battle Fleet, Japan. Once I have enough, once I think I have enough troops, I'll just storm the strait. Long live the Empire of Japan, we've gained Inchon as a crewer, which is this one here. I can add Bhutan, apparently. Or I can increase stuff with Bhutan. Even though I don't care at all about Bhutan. Bhutan, uh, increase. Cool, they like me, even though they're in British sphere of influence. Oh. Germany declared war on me. Again. How did I not have, an, have a uh, peace treaty with you? Did you break that peace treaty? So what do they want? Contain the Empire of Japan. So I'm going to mobilize my entire army again. Um, so, fuck that. You're invading these guys instead. Alright, we'll just invade... <laughs> we'll just invade German Indochina then. Fuck it. The Germans want to fight that badly, then we'll give them a fight. And now there's nothing they can do. They don't have any bases. Once I take Vietnam, they have to ferry men in from the middle of Bumblefuck. So, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Fuck the Germans. War. So, let's try and cross the strait with India, with tanks. And, you know, army, personnel, mechanized infantry. See how bad it is. Uh, apparently, we're gonna win. Actually, we are gonna win. That's hilarious. We literally drove over the strait. <laughs> they got fucking invaded. Yeah, fuck the crowds. They want to declare war on me again? How dare they? Let's break the Germans. Yeah, enforce Japanese curricula. <sighs> Don't you hate it when they declare war on you? Even if you have a truce? I wonder what that truce was. Was that like a yearly truce? Or has it already been like five years or whatever minimum truce timer is in this game? The 
it's it's almost impossible to defeat me now. <laughs> My army's too big. Is that it? Is that Indian power right there? Gone. That entire army. Kind of just rally everyone in China to an army. I like how the Chinese are volunteering to fight the war for me. Nepal and Mongolia. Okay. So let's just go Asia this time. Let's go Mongolia. And let's go Nepal. Now, Mongolia is in the sphere of influence of the Russians, I think. I think it's actually a satellite. I think the, this is, yes, it's a satellite nation. And the pole. There. Let's go and break these guys too. Also, if I offended any Germans that watch this, actually, I don't even think any German people watch my channel, but if I have offended you, I'm sorry, but your ancestors are dicks. How dare you invade me, again. But then again, how dare I be, you know, an evil tyrant. Yeah, whatever. Where are they running to? That way? Kill them. Oh, look, here come the Dutch. Or not the Dutch, the Danish. I bet they're going to drop off like one soldier. Let's just park my fleet here. I don't think they can do anything. So this time, the rules were reversed. And uh, now I'm completely kicking Germany's ass. Yeah, fuck you, out of war goal. Well, I'm going to cut you down to size. I like that. <laughs> oh, Siberia gets the Russian unit back. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, good. The Battle of the Cape, I won. I wonder why. Oh, it's because they just charged at me. Probably were murdered. Oh, good. 60,000 new Chinese volunteer troops. I don't know what to do with them. Unless I invade Burma, I can't get, can't get them anywhere, unfortunately. I'd love to have an occupation army of 60,000 soldiers in, uh, you know, southern India. I just don't see it happening. Do, 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 do. Oh, what a glorious victory. Go back to these places so you can be picked up by the ships. The Republic of Ireland Act. Huh. The Republic of Ireland is a thing now. Wait, weren't they a thing though? I thought they were a thing. Before, I guess it's a new thing. Now they're in the sphere and they're allied with England. But then again, what choice do you have? It's like, you'll be allied with us. No, I won't. Like, they're the British Empire, of course. But don't be foolish. So all you guys, get on the boats, we'll land you here, go kill the Danes. <laughs> I 
I'm fighting two wars. I like how I can handle two wars just because Germany's so far away. It really doesn't matter. So if I win, I get to cut Germany down to size. And uh, I forget what that actually I forget what the cut Germany down the size actually you know gets you. So let's get the aircraft carrier. Let's upgrade my uh, ports back home to aircraft carrier esque ports. Able to you know hold and build these ships. Oh good, march march to the other side of Taiwan and kill them. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, it's a massacre. Nothing they can do. That was fun. Back to what I was doing. Sorry, Germany, you're no longer a threat. I, I fear you... Not at all. <laughs> they're just, they're a world away from me. They're on the other side of the country. You know, on the world, really. I mean, they're big and scary over there, but over here, they're not anything. They're not scary at all. Not when I'm busy conquering India. You know, this invasion of India has gone rather well. I don't think India has, like, an army. So Germany, how are you doing over here? Liberate the country. Soviet Union. Sure. I'm demanding that Germany give everything they have that the Soviets claim territory on. So basically strip Germany of her provinces there. While I'm conquering India at the same time, pretty much. Alright, let's pick up this army and we'll land them in the north of the country. Still losing tons of money. Is it to the stockpile? Not spending anything. No, car carry a big stick. Well, that would help a lot, but it would fuck my army. Who are you? How dare you? Let's go sink the Danish fleet. Sunk. We'll sail over here on the other side. Let's cut off all Germans from the canal. Just sit the Jap Japanese fleet, the Imperial Navy in the uh, canal zone. Oh, I can't. It's too far away. These guys would ally with me. I wouldn't have a problem. Total annexation. India has 34 regiments. They have nothing to fight me with. It'll be, it won't be until like 1970. Until his infamy wears, wears off. I actually lose 20.23 of it every month because I'm a great power. Let's go pick up more troops. still losing a lot of people in the empire. Not good. I don't know why. They're just leaving the empire. Probably because I'm a constant 
state of war almost. There's been little to no peace. That's probably the reason. Probably. But it was all for that. For the for the empire. Let's land troops here. Bum bum. Wow, 1950. Did you know in 1950, Japan, the Empire of Japan, invaded India to annex them as a colony? I didn't know that. You learn something new every day, don't you guys? It's crazy. How much world history that we don't know of. You know what's hilarious? I forget that Bangladesh is a country sometimes. So let's take Goa, some of these other damn places, and just move on with my life. Another province, yay! Long live the Empire of Japan. See, the, the world's, the Western powers, the only one that cares is Germany. <laughs> and they can't do anything. They, they have to accept my containment and the, fr the freeing of all. There you go, Soviet Empire, and yeah, whatever, I don't care. Apparently they're not going to accept. Oh, look at that, that's cute. They landed some troops up there. Well, then I best bring the home fleet back to uh, kill them. And then I'll, I'll move some troops here. And we'll kill them again. You know, at this point, it's like rinse and repeat. So at this point, it's like, it's like the race to Delhi. <laughs> lose two militancy, lose, lose two militancy, whatever. Oh, look at that, man. Another province for Empire Japan. I think stripping Germany of her uh, blocks, that was probably a really good idea. So basically add all of this territory, like right along this river here, to the Union. Make the Union more powerful. Yeah, just, just keep enforcing Japanese curricula. Sure. These guys, meanwhile, are going to make a run for Delhi. These guys are going to swing around and make a run for, I don't know. Up here, maybe. Darlinging. Darling. Darjiling. It's kind of quarter of the, um, or the country. These guys are going to cut back across. There you go. Oh good, we won the Battle of the Soya Strait. Take Janapur. India falls. And she'll fall hard. Can I cross that? Oh good, I can. Can I go all the way over here? Nope. Again, the Germans invaded with a guard unit. Let's have these guys cut across the country to this side, kind of the quarter and section it out. I forgot I had soldiers, I had a fleet here, let's go land here. So at this point India doesn't stand a chance. Germany, I just, I can just wait it out. 
It might take a billion years, but I can wait it out. So, this is going to take a while. We'll continue this in the next episode. So, I'm going to end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it, and it helps me out. Also, uh, once again, if you guys want to uh, name the government types, the, uh, the political parties, uh, leave what you want to call them in the... Uh, comments below and uh if they're good i'll rename them so yeah guys until the next time stay tuned